In a language class, the girl to boy ratio is five to eight. So for every five girls, we have eight boys. If there are a total of 65 students, how many girls are there? So this is interesting. They give us the ratio of girls to boys, but then they want us to think about how many girls there are given that there are 65 total students. So what we really want to think about is not just the ratio of girls to boys. We want to think about the ratio of girls to total students. Total students. So how can we figure out what this ratio is going to be? Well, the girl to boy ratio gives us a good clue. The ratio for if there's five girls for every eight boys, how many, how many total students are there going to be for every five girls? Well, for every five girls, you're going to have five girls and eight boys. You're going to have 13 total students. So I just added the five and the eight right over here. The ratio of girls to total students is five to 13. One way of thinking about it is if you were to evenly divide the students into groups of 13, every group of 13 students would have five girls. Now, I think we're ready to figure out how many total girls there are. Because they tell us that there are 65 students. There are 65 students. So we don't just have one group of 13, we have 65 students. And how many groups of 13 is 65? Well, to go from 13 to 65, you have to multiply. You have to multiply by 5. 5 times 10 is 50. 5 times 3 is 15. Right, 13 times 5 is 65. So you essentially, you could, one way you could view it is you have five groups of 13. So if you have five groups of 13, each of those are going to have five girls. Multiply by 5, you're going to have you're going to have 25 girls. So for every 65 students, you're going to have 25 girls given the information that has been given.